Tweeted, tweeted. Tweet, tweeted. The button! It is pushed! Oh, roll 20 commas, garbage for us. The button! I didn't really try either. It is pushed! No. We good? Yeah, we're streaming. Yeah, we don't we don't have any intro video for the chat or anything, do we? No, we never made one. We still need to get on that sometime. <laughs> nah. All right. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> oh look, we just went live. Yeah. I didn't get a fucking <laughs> notification. Cause you suck. It's garbage. That's for you. Gotta throw my phone in the garbage now. It didn't do its job. Duck balls. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Monkey balls. So, That's a good game. <coughs> we're here uh, today, my fellow gamers. Yay! Is this a fucking state of the union address? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I gotta open up Twitter. Uh, so I didn't do that yet. That would be ridiculous. Can you imagine like a state of affairs for gamers or something like that? That'd be fucking awesome. It'd get more views than the state of fucking state of the union. Sponsored by Doritos and Game Informer and Mountain Dew. Yeah. Code Red. <laughs> yeah, right. A lot of people like Dr Pepper instead. Hey, cat, cat finally came out. Yeah, but Mountain Dew's always the one pouring out with her fucking. Hey, jeez, uh, you came it's out true. Of duty. Long yeah, time ago, it and used it's still to be called balls. gamer fuel. Yeah, it's so suspicious. Yeah. Long time ago, it was balls. Fucking Serious yeah. gamer drank balls. Yeah, nice I blue I, glass yeah. bottle. Yeah, I drank balls before. It's fine. I just moved <laughs> it. You don't want to fuck. That's like that was like drinking cocaine. Yeah, it was. Well, there then then they came out with an actual cocaine energy drink, and that shit was yeah. fucking wild. Yeah, it's called Coca Cola. Yeah. No, no, it was at, like it was like probably like ten years ago. And it was called cocaine. It was a little fucking silver can of fucking in the face energy. <laughs> Cocaine's the best energy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that, um, it's an upper. It's a, it's a upper. super upper. Yep. Sure. That'll get you up. It's, I just so, moved it. Fucking cat. I moved the bed a little bit from cat. one corner of the wall to the other corner of the wall. The cat Christine. freaks out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you care a little bit. Wow. Well, <laughs> you would think that would. All right. A little bit. Well, let's quick do it. Words. What's first? Got a lot of stuff to go over, so let's get going. We do have a lot. Why well, the fuck? Let me with switch Twitch. to Brian's picture. Uh, da, 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 da. Unless the Actually, first one's a video. The first one's the video. All right, so we're gonna do uh, the video first. Let's see. It's the Agents of Ma'am. There you are. Browser. The Josh. Hey, if you want to click on the first link and watch it on your own. And I will watch. I will play it through the stream. Twitch works mm -hmm. So Agents of Ma'am. Is this another video. fucking hero FPS? You want? I can count down for you to hit play. If that makes it easier for us to stay in sync while we talk about it. Let's okay. do that. But Josh needs to get it up. No, I know. Get into the I'm website. And then he needs to try to get the uh, link working. I'm watching the video. Oh, it's loud. Oh, go away. Go away. No, what the fuck? Oh, on IGN? Yeah, they have an advertisement. At the top. No, it won't even let me make it fucking bigger. No, we will, we will mute that advertisement. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, because, uh, so up at the URL... There's a little M dot that means it's for the mobile version. Just delete, delete that. I'm shitting on the mobile version. Because right. reasons. Because I got the link on my phone right. and put it in I the docket on, on my phone. I'm on 423. Work. I was in bed. <laughs> um, you're at what, Steve? 423. One second after it started. Hold on. Let me fucking... Look at us syncing our videos. Is this a fucking ever? Oh, this an advertisement. Yeah, uh, get through the ad. Fucking loud. Yeah, you can mute uh, it. Uh, Zero uh, time uh, dilemma. Oh, Ooh, it may contain stupid. content inappropriate for children. I'm at four. For the Nintendo 3D. Yes. Yep, four twenty three is what I want you at. Yep, me too. All right, ready? Three, yep. two, one, play. Now we can comment it about while we watch it, even though it's not. On the same screen for all of us. Yep. Old school graphics. 
the fuck is this? Oh god, fucking Omnix. <laughs> so many limitless and free. Nothing's limited and limitless. Everything has a price. It is when you fucking block out the whole sun with your super satellite. Yeah. Oh, those are aliens. That's not good. <coughs> uh. Doctor Babylon. What? What doctor? What doctorate do you have, sir? I want to know. Huh. A doctor in evil. <laughs> This cape's fucking stupid. It's either got a doctorate in metaphysics or science. <laughs> Tracer knockoff. Yeah, right. A little bit. <laughs> this is a fucking hero FPS, isn't it? Who's the makers of this? <laughs> Oh, the same people who made the Saints Row games. Okay. Oh, look, he's do doing stuff. Hanzo! <laughs> <laughs> I like Black Hanzo. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me too. <laughs> hey, we Jackson. Uh-oh. Maybe he has his doctorate in techno magic. Yeah. There's not a doctorate in techno magic, Steve. Maybe in this know world that. it, it is. might be in this future. <laughs> Cause it seems like technology, but it also seems a lot like magic, so it's a little it bit of both. It looks like they drew put his cape in cold water and then dried it real quick and made it shrink. <laughs> <laughs> Grr. There he is. I knew it was coming. Wow. <laughs> Gotta be no, that just went right through it. Okay, it seems unlikely. He's a super strong black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if their bullets aren't penetrating it, his hook ain't gonna penetrate it. Sorry. Affirmative action, Steve. Oh, I fucking hate this guy already. <laughs> Stunt double. <laughs> That'd be a cool move to have, though. Did you just kill Stunt double? Yep. Okay. That'd be a pretty <laughs> cool move to have. The gap. It wasn't for the stupid dude who's a actor. I would oh, like all I his characters. Like ah, he's... <laughs> Is that Johnny Gap, Brian? Yeah. Guess who this is? It's Widowmaker. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, it's even almost the same symbol. It's also almost the exact same Saints Row symbol. Uh, that sucks. That's bad. It... Bad timing. Uh, uh, it, it's bad timing. Yes. Is uh, it? What is this supposed I to be? I love it. I love it. Uh, turn off autoplay. Hmm? Oh. Is this? Gonna, it. Is this going to be like a hero FPS, like Overwatch? I'm switching to. Uh, I'm switching like to Borderlands. Brand. All right. So. This is a this is an FPS. Oh, I knew it was an FPS. Really Excuse me. Like it's a also hero arena thing like we play. No, yes and no. This game is based on Fuck an yes open no. world. Excuse me. That is. It's an open world. It's an adventure game and an action game, obviously, and it's based around these teams of three, which means cooperative play through a campaign. Uh, but I just read no multiplayer. Well, campaigns are nice. It's not multiplayer. It's co-op. 
Okay. Yeah, cool. I kind of wish there was a co-op like adventure for so it's like Borderlands. Overwatch. Yeah. But that, made by the people that, that who made Saints Row. More like is the Saints Row Borderlands, which looks yeah. fucking awesome. But a lot of the characters, come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely. Uh, but that's also like that fucking that Psylocke girl from Borderlands. She was kind of yeah. like that. That's true. So it's, it's just the yeah, normal like. Okay. For the. That makes stop, sense. Stop touching your cat, Steve. It's weird. He might come up. What do you yeah. want to see, Jinx? <sighs> Well, we don't have boobs, so animals are the next best thing. It's true. It's true. We need to get <laughs> puppies get and stuff. On here. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um, One of us needs so a hot yeah. girlfriend. <laughs> mm-hmm. <coughs> yep. <too>. No, he's... <laughs> uh. Anyway. Uh... I'm a girlfriend ugly, Steve. There you got it. <laughs> No, I was just, I was just going to slide, but you kept, kept begging me on. <laughs> well, it's partially what I meant, and also partially meant that we really do need a hot girlfriend. Not Jesus. that your girlfriend isn't hot, but we need, like, me or Brian needs to get, like, a girl who's into playing games and doing everything that we like to do, because then we can get them involved. Views. <laughs> yeah, and views. Um, it's just strictly marketing. This is not a relationship. It's strictly marketing. <laughs> We have a contract. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, this Girl, looks like it could here. be fun. Um, this is like the very, very first we're seeing of anything, and they decided not to show it. Um, I mean, it is an E3 thing, but it's obviously been debuted before E3. So, Everyone does that shit, though. They want to get ahead of the game. Be like, oh, right, shit but I'm, it's still likely that this is at least a year away. So it's not well, going to be competing with Overwatch. Um, and it's probably going to be different enough for it to be for well, it to if work. Well, it, if it's a co-op, it's going to be the new Borderlands, and it's going to be fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah. Man, <laughs> I don't Spe like, I don't talk, like let's talk about E3. The Ahab character, he just doesn't seem like he'd be fun to play. But that may end up being the character I play the most. Yeah, right. That's usually how it goes. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. Oh, E3, you're so far away, but so close. It's a week oh. away. Yeah. We'll talk about E3 at the end of the night. Yeah, maybe talk about what we're hoping for or something like that. Hoping yeah. to see shit like that. Well, and what, how we're gonna how we're gonna cover it. Yes, indeed. Okay, next on, uh, Battlefield, Battlefield One. EA thought that kids didn't know what World War One was. Yeah, which Some is kind of true. Yep, and it turns out they were right. And a lot of. Uh, a lot, like, of a lot of potential buyers. Don't know the Three Stooges. Well, it's not. As yeah, but that's not worth War knowing. One. No, I know. The Three Stooges is not War. worth knowing. That's, that's only on my mind though, because my dad's been doing the Three Stooges to my uh, nephew, and it's like he's when he gets older, he's not gonna know what the fuck you're doing. He'll just think that's Grandpa being weird. <laughs> yeah. You, he'll never. He'll never connect the two, unless his dad yeah, exactly. shows him old episodes. Well, it's not fucking funny either. It's yeah. just people slapping each other. It was it's good shit back in the day. It's, it's, it was good shit back in the day. Back in the day, yeah, but Charlie Chaplin was funny back in the day, and he's but boring as fuck. People think Abbott and Costello weren't funny. They a little, a little, a little funny. Abbott but, and Costello were comedic geniuses. Yeah, I might be aging they myself are. with Abbott and Costello, but that shit's good. They are fucking amazing, but some people don't think that. Uh, I think the three some people didn't know good. about World War One either. Mm. Well, except that it existed. And because there's a World War Two, there must have been World War One. <laughs> no, we just I don't think World people War. have like. I don't think people have that kind of logic. You don't not think anymore. so? It's like, no, hey, no. so you think there's a World All War One? Fucking boomlets? No, they're a bunch of fucking idiots that are going to ruin this world. <laughs> you call them the boomlets? Generation. That's what they're called on the website I looked at. They're called boomlets, and I loved it because it was cute. Oh <laughs> I'm sure it'll change, but they're boomlets Bo right boomlets now. Boomlets would make more sense for. The millennials, because they would be the kids. No, they're kids too the busy. They're, yeah, yeah. That's what I figured. they're too busy just bitching at the millennials for ruining the world. So, yeah, which they we, managed to do themselves. We're barely just getting old enough to ruin. It. It's not <laughs> <a problem. laughs> yeah, Oh well. Like people, we're, we're just starting to ruin it. it. You ruined it already, old fucking bastards. And bastards, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, paying social security. Yeah, we have two more years for uh, game developers to exploit the World War One. Yeah. Thing. 
why two more uh, years? Because it ended in 1918. See? Okay. So, I mean, the only reason people care about World War One right now is because it's the 100th anniversary. Oh, that's uh, why people were dumping it out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that makes sense. I just thought maybe, like, hey, fuck it, guys, World War One, And everyone was like, oh, no, hell it's yeah. because it's been 100 years. That makes sense. Yeah. It's not just think about anymore. it. In our lifetimes, we're going to see the hundred-year anniversary of World War One, uh, World War Two. Yay! And maybe the Al Qaeda war. With, no, the hundred-year anniversary of the war with Al Qaeda would Go. put us. I would have at... to be like hundred and eighteen or some bullshit number. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be really, <laughs> so, really it's very old. unlikely. Uh, well, the Gulf War. The first, 90, one, the first one. The first Gulf War. I would have to well, be exactly one hundred years old. I say it's unlikely, but the living age keeps going higher and higher, so it is possible. It's maybe possible. We'll all be fucking cyborgs in the future. Yeah, playing Battlefield One. Cyborg. Learning of history through the computer. Holy shit! It's Assassin's Creed. Or we'll be playing <laughs> fucking. Battlefield Gulf War again because that'll be a big fucking deal in a hundred years and we're like fuck it we were there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Isn't how this happened? There were flying <laughs> apes in this game in this world. <laughs> yeah, right. That wasn't invented for at least another forty years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, stupid kids. Who? Uh, moving on to city skylines. Someone creates Seattle using fifty thousand buildings. This is like people in Minecraft creating scale models of what Shanghai. Is skyline, like city skylines, is yeah. what uh, SimCity should have been. Uh well, so that's a little easier because you're replacing how many buildings? Fifty thousand. If you think about doing scale models of Shanghai, that's probably a little over fifty thousand blocks, bro. Probably. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of seems a little easier. Like world edit. Well, I imagine, I imagine a lot of people who made scale models, like, in their fucking houses, not on a computer, probably think right. well, this shit looks easy. What about the fucking guy in India who was yeah. like, oh, I just want to build a fucking temple, and he fucking picked up rocks every day and carried them to his fucking house and built a goddamn temple and finally died and they buried him in it. Yeah, yeah. why not? It's and cool. it was fucking huge. You do, you do cool like, one rock temple. a day for the rest of your life? You could definitely pull that shit off. I would have, like, 35 fucking rocks because I'd probably <laughs> die from that. <laughs> <laughs> Overexertion, rocks too uh, heavy. Uh, you gotta do it right, like the dude who built Stonehenge in America or whatever. He did it like the way they did it in the old days right. with like counterweights and all this other bullshit. Mm-hmm. And he was able to do it like pretty much by himself with maybe the help of like one of his sons or something. Right. Well, there's no reason why Stonehenge is there. Well, Stonehenge is there. Well, it's for like reason. it's perfectly aligned with yeah, a bunch of celestial it was all bodies about the alignment and shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's, or aliens. It's the gate to the Pandorca. Or the Pandora. Yes, it is. Um, anyway, the uh, the reason this came up not only because you know I'm I'm from Seattle, but it's uh, because I saw on a friend's Facebook feed that they could see their house in the game, and it was pretty accurate. Nice. You see your house in um, the game? No, I'm too far away. But well, that's not surprising if you use Google Maps to get like looks of everything and yeah, honestly, right. that's all probably that what he did. He probably fucking put a program on. Copy all the fucking buildings right, and, and then put it pictures. over. And it took him two minutes. Yeah, and then and just now like, he's fucking like, doing like, all. Well, oh, still, this by hand. He still had to put all the buildings by hand, but he no, probably overlaid not. all the buildings with the images or something like that. Or maybe he didn't, and he just fucking threw like the program did it because that's fucking easy for computers. Hey, yeah. that's still a lot of programming to take Google images and translate them into a three D environment. That's he still redid, not that easy. He redid a bunch of highways and then eyeballed the rest using Google Earth as a reference. Yeah, I could lie about things too. <laughs> <laughs> the game's been out long enough for him to do it a lot of people really love this game because SimCity was such a big disappointment so. yeah. yeah I saw a game I, I still don't think game. it was that bad I yeah, it was a game, it. and this guy made a, it was fucking garbage and a guy made a roller coaster that takes 210 days in real life to fucking finish Talk so, nice. I don't know I don't want to know why he knows that Jesus Christ he does SimCity would have been good if said they fucking streamlined it to fucking idiot mode. Yeah, there was they no did. like, oh, here's all your infrastructure. It's already with your roads. Oh, fucking thanks. Now I don't have to plan that out. That was part of the fucking game. <laughs> uh, coming a little more things about uh, Computex. I know which you guys talked about last week. Oh, uh, uh, but well, I found not a lot because it was only the first day. More right. Computex stuff has come out this whole week from like Lions Tech Tips and all those guys. Those right. guys have been covering that shit a lot more than we were uh, able to. But I found a gallery of the best case mods. Is that the... a whole case right there? Yep. 
So the nacelles are the graphics cards. Uh Uh-huh. Now I'll get get these bigger. I feel like when they say case mods, it's like, okay, when you start making something like that, it's no longer a case case mod. It's a model that's that is a computer. Uh, that's, yeah, that's right. not a like mod, when you say really. case mod, I say I think oh you take like a bare bones case and you make it look really cool. Yeah. That's a case mod. Right. This is a like model. Steampunk. That's fucking. That's that's not a case anymore. That's a fucking badass. That's just little a computer. Pizza cutter with wings. <laughs> <laughs> but still uh, so cool they... looking. Now that's a yeah. case mod. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That's a case mod too. Yeah, because because it's, of... ca- it's built around the computer's interiors instead of built right. with it. Yeah. Lego is one. Lego one. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Got a big air pocket in his Lego cooling system. Yeah. He's yeah, he does. Have some issues. You're supposed to have. Oh, there I see the, the air pocket. The fuck you say? You're not supposed to have air <laughs> no, in no, there. No, no, I'm saying in the in the, like, in the reservoir. I was like, the one at the top is fine. He's got two air pockets. He might have just been filling it up. That's a shadow, but yeah, there's one right there as well. Jesus. These guys have to set this shit up like in a couple minutes. Maybe they don't get it every time. Yeah. These are. uh... Like the ones that you drop coins into to make oh, it work. Nice. A Kopinka machine? Yeah. Does it actually turn it on that way? That'd be funny. You put in a coin <laughs> I think, and it turns I think so, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is just an open ended one. Yeah, but the ba- oh, base good, is though. cool looking. Yeah. Yeah. It's very Something modern. Like, that a last lot of one. the water cooling looks fucking good, like that, with like the, the spiral around the going the, around the, the right. Yeah, it's that is cool. cool. It's not needed. And that's no, yeah, extra completely bubble. unnecessary, but if you but have the money to do it. <laughs> well, that tube's cheap, Steve. The coolant is fucking yeah. expensive. Well, like it depends. A, a, is that maybe ounce. a plastic tube or a glass tube that they bent? Ooh, if it was glass, that'd be a, you imagine them having cool to spiral right that here. around and breaking it and all, you know, oh. Oh, let me guess, you played fucking Call of Duty on that one. <laughs> <laughs> or Bioshock, you mean? Yeah. Some of these look a little lazy. Like that last one was just a case with a mask attached to it. And yeah. Some stuff this was outside. cool. I like the honeycomb. Yeah, I saw this one. That's on a cool a video. reservoir, yeah. Yeah. They did good on that one. Fangirl that one looks a little lazy. Computer. It looks like it's all glass. No, it's a glass. It's open. It's an open end. It's an yeah. open end. That, that could be a good wall. Like a good thing you put on your a walls. Wall, as yeah. as, as yeah. like a, oh, look at my poster. It's also a computer. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of one. Yeah, good color scheme. I like the cool, yeah, I like the cooling in that. That's, that's, just, that's just a Master Case Pro 5. Yeah, yeah, it's a Master Case. That's the one I have, but it's painted. Mm-hmm. It looks good. I don't know I what like... this is. It's a fucking. It's probably got it, some fucking theme to it. Yeah, it looks like some yeah. tail plugged into one of the USB ports. Or this is Wi-Fi receiver. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That's fucking cool. Looking. That's another Master Case the skull. Well, you're you're gonna see a lot of Master Case Pro fives because they're designed easy. to be customized. Yeah. Like, yeah. They're, they, yeah. So. I like I like the orange coolant so much. That's that's kind of cool. cool. That's just, what is like it? a sculpture. Yeah, it's just a sculpture. I'd be nice it's not to actually see anything. The computer. Maybe. I don't know. It just doesn't look right with a shield, but whatever. Nah. No tech. Uh-huh. It yeah, looks I like camo. It. Yeah. That's pretty good looking. Nah. I like the different colors. Obviously, CPU yeah. and video card are separate. Oh, I, I, I like it. I like that one a lot. The yeah. Edison bulbs. Oh, yeah. How could I be He's got a spot for his headphones I'll throw there. dollars $65 fucking bulbs on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love Edison bulbs. They're my favorite. <laughs> uh. Transparent cooling. And it looks like it's supposed to be looking like some kind of jet or maybe that a race car. Good, though. Yeah. That, the fin on the there's back. There's no air bubbles or out. That's clean as fuck. I like that a lot. We're too far away to see air bubbles. There could be some in there. Fuck you. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but I feel like this... Some kind of sword? ...symbol is something that we should know. It doesn't look familiar to me. Oh. Uh, Ugh. That's Jesus. not bad. Another master case. It's done well. I don't like the color Is that of the a coin. butt plug? <laughs> it sure looks like one. God, I'd hate to see the person who uses that. <laughs> I don't like, yeah, I don't like the color of the coolant. That's kind of lazy. Yeah. It's just a fucking... I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's impressive. Together well, but, yeah. But it's, there's no case to it. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a turret. It's a fucking turret. That's cool. It's not case mod. No, That's definitely not cool. case, but still very cool looking. Let me turn on my computer. Ah, uh, pedo bear. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm kind That's of. Funny, I though. really don't think this should those be. Those are speakers, aren't they? Horrible. Yeah. Uh, That's nice. That's very it's clever. Like, I don't think those are speakers. Why would no, they I be? Think those make are speakers. Sense. I think those are those Sony uh, pods that you can get. And, and then, then he just colored them. Yeah. 
It's just been painted. Painted Maybe he put a cover over it too. Yeah. That's kind of good looking. That yeah. looks fast as fuck. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Look at See something like that, you red. think? Is that part of your whole house? <laughs> nice. Of nice. course, you gotta do that. Yeah, I love the the tubes. It's oh, awesome. Yeah, those are good. yeah, I wonder if those are actually you being used though. Those tubes. Like, oh, that's fucking those. cool. That cool. Yeah, that's definitely cool. some sculpting that guy did on that styrofoam, maybe or something. But yeah, that's cool. Stuff I can never fucking do. Captain America one. The shield's embedded in it. You could get that fucking shield at any store. Yeah. yeah, but he embedded it in it and broke all the glass and glued it and. The shield looks like that. That, you it, that makes store. it look like a 3D printer, but it's a computer. A yeah, CNC it computer. does. Or CNC, yeah. Those are cool. uh, yeah, like <laughs> built in. I've yeah. always wanted to do something like that, but I don't have the money or the friends. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can build one just for yourself Jesus. and race with it. No touch. Awesome. That's fucking cool. It's not actually That's a, computer, a master though. case. There's nothing in it? No. There's oh, no actual things in it. But they make it look like there's parts in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's just got it's, it's just a mini ATX running behind all that. It's uh, Raspberry Pi. Maybe you can play fucking Pong. Possible. Why not? As long as it's got a computer inside of it, I think it counts, right? Oh. <laughs> And we end on the, like on the purple. venom purple. Yeah, looks good. There we go, some weird cases. Some coloring like that would be probably green and purple. Yeah. With Batman hanging by a noose in the, in the, in the case. Blue and white for me. Well, white looks good too. But purple. Civ 6. Purple yeah. It looks so shitty, but it's going to be so amazing. It doesn't look yeah, like I know. it's that's... shitty. It just the it, reason it looks shitty to it me. Looks it looks like, like Age of Vampires. Age of Vampires right. online. Online, that yeah, that's shit. the problem. But I know that's it's the be problem. Than that. um, and it doesn't look like it look is any graphic wise better than Civilization it's Five. It's just a different art style. Right, and that's right. fine. But if it feels like it's Civilization Five, it's just like if it just feels like a fucking add-on. All, add is, on, all the up, all the new games are fucking. They're just basically engine imp increase improvements and gameplay improvements. But it's gonna feel like the same game. So why don't they Probably just is. add improvements into the game that already exists? Because they have to make a whole new engine for it. And money. <laughs> no, and money. And there are going to be some differences. The water oh, yeah. looks fucking amazing. It does. And we know of at least three re of, of three leaders who are different. Um, Cleopatra, Teddy Roosevelt, who else? And Kin. Who's Kin? Kin, Emperor Kin, kind of. Oh, instead of... Uh... What's her name? The pirate yeah. lady. Yeah. So okay. at least three different ones. Cleopatra so, instead of um, Ramses. Yeah, Ramses. It's about time. Yeah. I don't know. I'd be kind of interested to see a fucking Egyptian leader from nowadays, but then again, he just caused a revolution. <laughs> Mosi, Mossy, something like that. President of Egypt. Yeah, it does look very uh. Cartoon, but better. I love those units. Those the units look fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, they and do. That looks better without like the cities being all junked together like the other one. Yeah, and that genuinely looks like a town somewhere in the plains during like the mid eighteen hundreds. You know, yeah, which is going to be nice, and it's on multiple tiles as you can see. Like they probably... Yeah, it is. Uh, horses, of just, cotton, like... fishies. The tree. I like the trees. I love the water. Yeah. <sighs> the water's not hard to do. No, no, yeah. Another one. Uh, China ships. Uh, some wonder. Yeah. It would be cool as if they took all the world wonders and they changed them to look like they belong in your civilization. Like this would be the Statue of Liberty if China yeah. had built it. Yeah, that would be fucking would cool, be cool, wouldn't it? Uh, but obviously it didn't because there's the mausoleum of Alcanarsis right there. So. So, Couldn't they well, do um, those type of things where they just take one from a civilization that exists and then that particular one has the same stats as everybody else's, but it's their own monument that matches their civilization? Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, yeah but, but then you have to like, find something from each civilization that would be in that kind change of the architecture, style, the architecture style. Yeah. And it yeah. could be the same fucking thing. Like the mausoleum of Pelican Arsis or whatever could look like something from like an Aztec temple. Right. Instead, or something real that, that they have that's similar. Yeah. yeah. Very World War Two-y. And there's a P-51. So. Pew, 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 pew. 
So yeah, it's cool. If you want to read this, it's interesting. Uh, it's it's a bit of a narrative, but it's a journalistic sure thing as well. Dis- like besides uh, the three they, new leaders, is they, there any big changes? They talk about how diplomacy seems different and shit like that. Good. Maybe it'll be a little easier to so. beat you with. <laughs> Uh, moving on, we get uh, Dragon Quest Builders. It's coming to oh, North America. God. The Dragon Quest Minecraft, pretty much. Uh, so you get an RPG. Or EverQuest, uh... uh yeah, Ever- yeah, still, yeah uh, voxel-based. Looks yeah. Like and Square-based. That looks like a kind yeah. of fun little game. Like, it's an RPG. It doesn't have, like, your generic... Oh, it's a Dragon Quest game. I don't know Dragon Quest. It's like know. Pokemon. Okay. Zelda. Um, it's a mixture of some other, a bunch of stuff. There's a video, Steve. Ah, uh, to the video. All right, let me play, play. Probably, oh, no ad. Okay. I'm at one second. I gotta find the ducks. All right, let me. Yeah. Sw- That's all right. I gotta switch over to the browser. There we go. Go. I can't feel my face. Yay. I can punch you if that helps. I'm at zero seconds. Hit play and get to one second. What the fuck are I at zero? Because you probably hit pause before it even started. Are we ready? Alright. Yep. Three, two, one, play. Ding. Remix. <laughs> There's a little Final Fantasy mixed in there. Fucking Square Enix. Yeah. That's all they do. <laughs> <laughs> Music sounds good. Yeah, it does. Sounds like an older game. Yeah. Classic chibi uh, dots. But those renal beads. They might be. Jesus will save you! Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, holy shit! <laughs> oh, I love the music. Uh-huh. 8-bit as fuck. <laughs> that looks hilarious. This might be really fucking fun to play. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> It's a nice take on Minecraft too, with the shaders and everything. Was all like staking your claim? Probably. I'm kind of excited for this. Hard to see. Uh, physics are still there. <laughs> Yeah, I'd play that. I'd play it. I, I'd probably enjoy the fuck out of it, too. <laughs> oh, it's not going to be a fucking game. PC, yeah. nope. Wintertime PS4 game. PS4 and PS Vita. Alright, switching back to your oh, view. I'm not playing that. Yeah, I know, right? But it looks Crash. amazing. It does, but not anymore. It looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I yeah. Mean, it's a good... I might already have to buy a Nintendo NX. I can't fucking get a PlayStation 4 as well. So, it's it's... It might be a really good spiritual successor to Minecraft. Um, yeah. Which we're kind Minecraft, of at this point. Yeah, Minecraft is, is a bit like WoW. It's never going to be... Nothing's ever going to be Minecraft again. No, but... Yeah. But this could be Guild Wars, you know? Well, Guild Wars so. is still... It's ours. It's our, like, successor, but... Some people fucking hate that shit. Yeah. And some people will hate this one. And some people will hate it 
because it's a bad Dragon Quest game, and some people will hate it because... They're going to hate it because it's not a Minecraft killer, just like Ex every other fucking MMO isn't a WoW killer, and people exactly. are pissed about it. That's going to be the same thing over again, but I'm not surprised it's happening. No, it's about that. No. I saw a Minecraft commercial today at dinner. Nice. Huh. Uh, now, <sighs> since you guys have been playing a lot of My or Skyrim yes, we have. lately, yeah. uh, I decided to throw in the ten hilariously weird Skyrim mods. I like how they, every like all these articles are always like on your next playthrough because they know every motherfucker is gonna play this game at least one more time <laughs> since they beat it. Yep. <laughs> so there's the animated fart shouts. Uh, you, you fart uh, your thing. No. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> fart jokes are no stupid. <laughs> oh no, come on. There we go. Uh, Do you doing whirlwind like sprint cool. with the fart one? Just with your bent over, flying forward. So the staff of sweet rolls and cheese. You turn your enemies into sweet rolls and cheese. It's a little overpowered, but uh, I like it. Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I, I'd use it. A lot of mods are. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, the terror of the wheel of the real chair, the wear chair. That's it. So it's it's a chair that's a werewolf. Or instead <laughs> of turning into a werewolf, you turn into a chair. No, it, it's a chair that turns into a werewolf. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a demon mimic. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> That's fucking cool. <laughs> uh, next is the Macho Dragon. I've seen that. It's fucking horrifying seeing that. I bet it is. <laughs> Moving around, wiggling around, shit, all that. Ooh, yeah. yeah Macho Man, says. Randy that's Savage. That's what he says when he's attacking you. <laughs> and I played it once and I was like, okay, I gotta take this off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> it's fucking funny. Uh, there's a mod that kills anyone who says, I used to be an adventurer like you, and then I took an arrow to the knee. So no guard will ever be alive. <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> uh, Die, You know what bitch. I do when they say that? I cast Fury on somebody right next to him and have him murdered without me touching them. Nice. <laughs> uh, Derpy Sonic. Uh, there's a, a Sonic. Look at his fucking arms. It gives you the abilities of Sonic, but it looks weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be terrifying, wouldn't it? Couldn't just put Sonic in there, sons of bitches. Those are uh, annoying too. Yeah, the Those trains. Dragons in the trains. <laughs> do, 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 do. Really sinister. It'd be hilarious. Oh, there's the cheese wheel Armageddon. So none of these mods are actually cool. They're just wacky as fuck. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. There's the mud crab. <laughs> See, so it shoots mud crabs. <laughs> a giant mud crab would be pretty horrifying. Crab yeah. people. Boom. Crab people. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> the and a Spider-Man. Yeah. Some of the modders do some pretty cool shit, like the Zoidberg and all that. Well, yeah. That's, that's cool. And then, of course, you can have all of them at once. Hunter Man, Randy Savage, Dragon Trains. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so. You would need a lightsaber in that game just to make it even more fucking. <laughs> yep. And I think that's the Zelda moon up there. Yep. Alright, moving on. Uh, GTA 5, we're getting an expansion. So uh, does that mean we'll be able to invest our money and just, like, you know. not ever get on? And then just come back and I get I think money. so. Fuck yeah. I think that is one of the things that this adds, um, along with a new, supposedly better than all the other cars, mm. called the Pegasi Reaper. Ooh, Reaper. Gallery yeah. blue. And that it looks sounds... like that. Oh, Ooh, Reaper. Oh, it looks like a... Probably fucking... super fucking balls to wall expensive. I don't know. Oh, I know what that car is. Pegasi Reaper? Yep. Well, it's a Ferrari something. Yeah. But it looks cool. Um, so it'll be fun. Uh, I think there's some new weapons as well. Uh, I put this in here because we're likely to check it out on a stream. Oh yeah, definitely. So there's a trailer, but I, I didn't find it was worth watching. Yeah. So. Influence yeah. from the Lamborghini Huracan. Ooh. Mm. Fancy. Fancy. Yep. You'll also be able to buy uh, offices Fancy. that you can oh, go good. into, like houses Fancy. and uh, warehouses. 
That's cool. They used to sell and store a range of contraband. They're maybe we could be <laughs> drug dealers. That'd be yep. fucking fun. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> Let's add more roleplay elements to the game. Yeah, it yeah. did. So we might I'm be seeing more like roleplay servers. It needed more stuff and yeah. things you could do with other Instead people. Instead of just a big fucking murder hobo. Right. Yeah, a roleplay server would be nice to play on here. Right? Yeah. Uh, I found this one interesting. Could uh, Liberty City DLC be rolling up for GTA Five? I think that doesn't um, make sense, though. It'd be cool. But they're, yeah. they're, they're like, geographically wouldn't be in the same area. Well, maybe you, like, you know, get on a plane and all of a sudden you're there or something. Yeah, that's true. right. I'd, I'd rather go by boat and just be, like, another fucking island. Yeah. Uh, I don't but think this Liberty is... City needs another touch up, though. Because they just well, did it in been... Grand Theft Auto 4. Yeah. Yeah, but it's. So I maybe mean... we should go to, like, Vice City and go back to Miami. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, or but... a different fucking city in, in general. Yeah, and yeah, but that's, that's uh, <clears throat> yeah, but by the time you get that, you're talking about GTA Six. I mean, this oh, is yeah, DLC. Yeah, thinking, it's yeah. it's gonna be. Oh, that'd be a cool DLC. I was thinking of it, okay, yeah, because I saw you had GTA Six somewhere in here, so I thought that's where we're at right now. Yeah, I think it's the page not found. Yep, it's the page not found. So we're skipping GTA Six. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the main thrust of the article was that it's not coming until at least 2020. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, that's about which right. is why GTA I think they might be doing there. the DLC for Liberty City to well, get. Well, they haven't had any Grand Theft Auto Five DLCs, have they? Not yet. Well, they have those expansions every once in a while, but there's well, been no like. Yeah, there's been no four DLC. paid DLC. Usually they do like two or three DLCs before they go on right. to their next game. Yeah. Right. Like Fat Tony, so. or Gay Fat Tony, or Big Gay Tony, or some shit like that in yeah. Grand Theft Auto. Four. Yeah. Uh, News that's about a week old now, uh, but GTA popped, dro- GTA uh, Halo Five dropped uh, some free DLC. Free Ooh. DLC. Halo Five's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Why isn't Halo dead yet, bro? And because it's dead. a fucking amazing story. Hail it's Halo. also Microsoft's it, flagship it, game. It is a really good story. Hail Halo. Yeah. I, Hail, I, Halo. I don't like. I just like the bits I played. I enjoyed the story. Like. With the flood and all that, that was a cool concept. And it's just yeah, the playing um, as the arbiter. But how many fucking halos can there be? As many as they keep producing. <laughs> Halo it's 3, not. 000. There's not just five halos. Remember, there is. Well, you wouldn't know. Halo but there's, yeah, there's like three halos. Halo Wars like and Halo Reach and Halo ODST and mm. you know all these other. <laughs> all of those were shit. So they're never mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Halo Wars failed because it was never brought out on PC. And it's a real-time strategy game. Yeah. Should I have been put out on, on PC. And it, it, I can't play RTSs on console. No. Nope. It's not right. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just like, okay, cool, I can play StarCraft on fucking console? Hell yeah, I go to fucking play it on N64 back when it was a thing. And oh, I was God. like, yeah. okay, this is fucking It's like stupid. playing Sims on fucking game console. Mm-hmm. It's like, why did you guys even put this out on console? I played, but whatever. I played the Sims, one of the Sims games on, game, on GameCube, and you couldn't kill your Sims. Yeah, well, it's because it's, it's on. It's a, it's a, it's because it's on a system and kids can get that. So, like, I fucking had like you start off living with your mom. It's like busting out or some shit like that, mm-hmm. and I I locked her in a room and was well, just tried to starve her until she died, and then she didn't. So I moved to my friend's house and sold his house, and then moved back to my mom's and built my own house. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, dishes. and then I stopped playing. It. <laughs> Sorry, we're having couscous for dinner. Oh, I've had couscous in forever. Couscous. So good. I'll never so make good. it myself. Oh, I should. It's so, so I, easy. I, I, oh, it's just add water. I know it is. That's just not something I ever think to make because that was something always my, my mom always made. Oh, the my couscous. sister fucking loved couscous. So I was just like, eh. And now, now that couch-y, I haven't couch-y. had it in like two years, it's like. Yeah, now couch-y, you want some. Couch-y, couch-y, couch-y. But I would Steve. make it right and not just fucking boiled with butter like my sister makes. Mmm, butter. No, this was cooked with uh, corn and turkey and seasoned with blue cheese and parmesan. That actually it's... sounds really <laughs> different. It's good. And I want it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, moving on from food. Food. Uh, Kickstarter. Over $500 million for games. Yay. Oh my god, what game? In the past five years. In the past five years that they've been on. Yay. I'm guessing a bulk of them have gone to Star Citizen. Yeah. Well, at least 10% of them have. Yeah. 
Oh, look at that. So. A fucking Cobra Mark III. Yeah, I'm play so that game that, now, but I know I'm gonna pretty... be fucking disappointed when I start it up, so I'm not going to. Yeah, but there were some. It. Here's a list of significant but they're names. They're also Shadowrun Return. Oh, Shadowrun, no, that is. But they also yeah, did board Broken games Age too. And... Yeah, but Shadowrun Return was, was a good uh, PC game. It's yeah. just basically Baldur's Gate, but fucking Shadowrun, which is yeah. a really awesome environment. Would be a great MMO or like a. Uh, like a Borderlands type game, Shadowrun, but it's I could never fucking play it like Baldur's Gate or like an actual dice game. It's just fucking Dwarven Forge, Darkest Dungeon, Hyper Light but Drifter. Every fucking game that's ever come out, we sent two. Kickstarter was a thing because everybody's gonna try to get that little bit of extra money. Yeah. yeah. Right? If you're a fucking indie game developer, of course. Yeah, Cards Against Humanity. I forgot that started on Kickstarter. Oculus Rift Banner, yeah. Yeah. So they do Banner have Saga. Some, so Shadowrun, I think, might actually be... Returns might actually be a board game. Yeah, that makes sense. Cthulhu Wars was fucking... Hot. Like, there's, um... Any of the HP Lovecraft games are fucking... Board games are fucking awesome, but they're like a million fucking pieces. Ooh, yeah. an X... News. Mm-hmm. <sighs> The Nintendo NX is not going to be announced at E3. They're not the talking fuck? about it at all. The what fuck is that? Nintendo? Why are you that being, is why are you so stupid? Concept. Oh, stupid. Of it's what concept. They think There's it's no way to know if that's actually what it is. Did they put a fucking yeah. NES in the blender and shit it out and that's what you got? <laughs> God, that's fucking retarded. No wonder Nintendo's going down the sh- If they didn't have Pokémon, they'd be no, dead. No. They're going down the shitter because they don't let people put their videos on oh, YouTube yeah, and too. because they don't want to fucking show off their shit at E3. Mm-hmm. That's why well, they're going down just, the fucking table. Well, Nintendo's fucking console wars. That fucking YouTube video showing Mario and Peach in a fucking robo while all the other consoles are fucking being well, badass. Well, to be fair, shit, that's yeah. exactly to be fair what it is. when Nintendo yep. when Nintendo when a Nintendo new system comes out it has been better than its predecessors. It's because Nintendo it's comes out same. in the middle mm-hmm. of the uh, PlayStation Xbox. Yeah, the big right. It's right. not participating in the console wars. Like no, yeah, that's why it's surviving. It's, it's, it's a different fucking thing. Like, you don't think, oh, I'm going to fucking play all these badass games. I'll get a Nintendo. Right. But when you think, it does I come might out, play games with my family. Yeah. But for I'll those get first few years, it is better yeah. than the other consoles, at least for the first no, like, years. Yeah. I don't, I'm not a fan of any Nintendo game besides Pokemon at all. Well, there's a lot of good ones, but a lot of them are family oriented. Like what? Uh, family oriented games. Well, there's games Mario from... Karts. There's the one game where you fight with the uh, Nintendo characters. Uh, Smash. Smash. I can't give Smash a shit Brothers. less about any of those. A lot anymore. of those games are a lot of fun. Smash though. is really fun online. They are fun. It's um, just like uh, I don't. Legend mind of Zelda. So many times. Yeah, Zelda. Animal it's Crossing. Dead horse. Dead horse. Make Super something Mario. fucking new. Dead horse. Mars is a super fucking dead horse. Bayonetta. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there. And then I came they up have with Monster one, Hunter fucker. on there, which is fucking awesome. Yeah. Um. But. Oh. Fuck. That, uh, 3DS game. game. I guess they were saying Damn, that it's possible really that the popular. NS could run Pokemon Go. Like whatever uh, the handheld version of the, like whatever the controller maybe, screen but, thingy of the new NS is, will be capable of going out into the world and the last Pokemon time Go on it. I truly enjoyed a, a Nintendo console was GameCube. Because that had you, some pretty good titles. Yeah, but you have not are we including the handhelds in that discussion? No, no, no. I'm talking about okay. consoles. Because handhelds, there's always Pokemon. There's always, like, some kind of RPG that you can play. There's always fucking pet shop games that are stupid as fuck, but you, I, I've played them. Because yeah. my sister had them. I was like, I want to fucking try this. I got a dog. Cool. <laughs> Fire Emblem. Oh, yes, Fire Emblem yes. is good. And, um, Fire Phoenix Emblem Wright. Again. What the fuck? Uh, Golden Sun, but that's an older one. That was a good, like, Final Fantasy-esque game. Um, Professor Layton games are really popular. Most of their, like... Most of their handheld games are pretty good. I'll yes, but it, it is a different market. Yes. But, yeah, so. that, that's why I'm not talking... When I talk about Nintendo being shit, I talk about their fucking console. Yeah. Alright, moving on. Uh, no Man's Sky. Of course I received Death Threads because everybody wants that game and they're fucking just going to keep pushing it back. And people were tired of it from Star Citizen, so they're going to start yeah. killing people. But it was delayed to August. 
It was delayed to August. Star Citizen doesn't even have a release date. No, we still smart. don't even know if it's they coming out in 2016 it yet. Out. It says 2016 on the wiki, but that's just yeah, speculation but from that's... wiki writers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Wait, gamers, this is not what we need as a community. Every community has death threats. It's not going to go away. I know, but it's we should be fighting against it. <laughs> it's not. That's a good tweet. Yeah. No, we do not need to be that fucking toxic, you little fucking twits. <laughs> There's no reason for it. Go get your mom's credit card and go buy another fucking game, because I guarantee every single one who made the death threat is fucking 12, and they don't have anything <laughs> better to do. Fucking and, it's probably, and it's probably already on a borderline of actually being a real death threat and just being an off comment. Right. No, it's just, oh, exactly. I want to fucking, we should kill him. Well, yeah, we should all kill him. Well, blah, 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 let's kill him. It's like, what What are we even talking about anymore? <laughs> Is We're that... killing somebody? Yeah, yeah mob mentality. <laughs> so on the lighter fucking side, idiots. I ran into this Go great on. article of how Overwatch fans are turning D.Va into <laughs> just what this. she is. This, yeah, exactly. I don't get the um, lipstick thing because I haven't looked at Diva's lips. But that's it makes not sense lipstick. For that's Doritos. That's Doritos. Doritos. I know, I know. Yeah. But everybody's talking about Diva's lip gloss, and then it shows the Doritos on Reddit. I was like, I oh, haven't right. paid that much attention to her lip gloss. I don't think she has lipstick, but I but think it makes she has sense some kind of lip gloss. She's a super gamer. Of course, she's going to do that. That's why she's like nerf this yeah. or fucking AFK and shit like that. Yeah. Diva's a fucking eighteen-year-old fucking StarCraft player, of course. Yeah, she's be like that. who plays and StarCraft why... in real life with a mech? <laughs> yeah, and that's honestly why she's one of my favorite cons. Like, I don't like playing her, but she's fucking awesome. Like, she's yeah. one of my favorite, more one of my favorite characters to like of the lore and background because she's a lot more relatable than fucking Junkrat. Who yeah, lives in a post-apocalyptic Australia with a fucking gimp leg and super bombs. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> She is us, but incredibly hot and a mech. Yeah. yeah. Get good. <laughs> uh, that's so right. So right. That's not surprising. That makes uh, sense. I love all the fan art that's happening with fucking Overwatch. Yeah. Me too. Because, I like, love Dad76 and Single Mom. Uh, Mercy is fucking awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. I don't yeah. like the shit they do with May because everybody thinks she's fucking fat. Yeah, that's that good. Have you seen the? Uh, uh, have you got, have you found the vaping thing yet? Because it's so fucking funny. No, I gotta watch that. Oh, I mean, God. pretty much Overwatch is like all I fucking spend time with. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Farah and Mercy driving around. I love the high noon fucking jokes too. Yeah, it's so good. Anyway, so yeah. God, fucking Overwatch is blowing up the internet, and I love it. <laughs> yep. It's been so big that Facebook is being integrated. No! <laughs> God damn it! Facebook oh, gets his grubby little hands and everything. Death wasn't built into the wall, I'd fucking flip it. <laughs> God damn it, Facebook. <laughs> Fuck you, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> shit. So not only are you going to be able to log into Overwatch and other Blizzard games using your Facebook account, but you can, you'll be able to stream directly to Facebook, because people go to Facebook to watch people streaming. Yeah. They don't? They are starting to, Facebook's... <sighs> don't yeah. get fucked, Facebook, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook you already, took, Has Facebook already seen... took YouTube, and it already took news websites, and now it's going to take streaming, and... Yeah. Yep. And now nobody's gonna, no content creator's gonna make money now because of fucking Facebook's greedy fucking fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody yep. seen the, um, uh, the fucking Demolition Man with Sylvester Stallone and Andrew Bullock? Sounds familiar. I've like probably I think I watched the trailer. It, but... It's a bit right, when, it, with um, the fucking Wesley Snipes and like they get cryogenically frozen and wake up in the future. From, like, they're required to have yes. in the 80s. They wake up in the future and everything's fucking Taco Bell, even the best restaurants. Yep. That's what fucking Facebook's going to be in a hit. Yep. Yep. You Facebook. <laughs> there you go, Facebook. Uh, this, we talked about this in an earlier stream a little bit, but... Uh, <sighs> they need to so bad. Yep. So... There should be less, like... Granted, some Bastion plays are fucking awesome. And yep. really helpful, but the players like Bastion, McCree, and fucking Roadhog, not Roadhog, but, um, oh, what the fuck's his name? 
junk rat. Mm-hmm. They should have like just a little, like just a little bit percent chance less than other the other plays. Like it should right. be looked at kind of and Torjern and Symmetra. If it's a turret kill, it's fucking good. But no, mm-hmm. or at least show the fucking turret uh, so you don't just see Torjern walking around. Yeah, unless Bastion's getting nothing. like nothing but headshots yeah. with this turret, don't show it. Yeah, because people can still uh, example was Bastion's that a good got... character. Just, uh, I got a quadruple kill today as a Widowmaker that while defending on King's I think it's a Row. Quadruple kill? Did it tell you quadruple kill? Yep. What'd you fucking shoot through four people's heads at once? I shot through two people at once. That's recharged, got someone, and then got someone else who was on low health. I would have figured all within venom like mine. a couple seconds. I would have figured um, venom mine. That's that's rats. <laughs> yeah, I, I was, I was like, fuck yeah, because we won the game. Because of that, because I got, I like wiped everyone that was on the point. It was yeah. awesome. And I was like, I've fuck yeah, that. I'm getting fucking. So many times with Roadhog, like, I pulled a diva bomb off my entire group into a room and killed myself with my fucking grapple. And that wasn't even thought of as a play of the game. And that was like, that would have wiped us and we would have lost. Yeah. It's like, exactly. play of the game right there. Um, Just because I didn't kill and... people doesn't mean I didn't fucking win the game. Yeah. And I didn't get it. Uh, it went to. A Reinhardt who used his ultimate to smash one person down, kill him, turn around, and do half damage to someone else. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was it. It's a cool concept. Play the game's a fantastic concept. I love it, but yeah. it definitely needs some serious work. It's broken. And they probably didn't get a lot of that, like a, like a lot of talk about that in beta. It was right. probably focused more on the gameplay bugs. And now that this is coming out, probably update two is going to have a fix for it. Yeah, it might be better. It, it, like their whole engine to run it. Like I've seen a lot of videos on like how the game fucking decides what play the game is. And it's a lot of work, and it's fucking. It's I don't know. I think what would be cool is if instead of cards, they uh, the it records like two or like th- or let's say four play of the games, and shows you them, and you get to pick a play of the game as a group. That might be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Sit there It'd a be a lot of time. Down a lot too. Yeah, I think they need to do something with the cards as well. I mean, it's cool that you get them, but what can you do with them after? I think it just helps. I think it helps give you more experience and bragging. No, it doesn't. You do not get anything from the experience, from the cards. Oh, yep. Okay. No, it's just bragging rights and people like being the, able to commend you. Yeah, it's I, like in, yeah. it's like these um, people shine. Guns of Congratulations. Vickers. And like Guns of Icarus, where you can commend people when you play with them. It's right. basically that. It's just a little more competitive and a fuck you when your team doesn't vote for the fucking healer and they all vote for the enemy DPS. And it's just like, well, fuck you then. I yeah. won't heal you next round. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think it, I think they should be worth something. You could tell who my favorite character is. Yeah, but nice if you got a little bit of experience <laughs> depending on, like, if you got the five thing, it's like, hey, you get yeah. you know, well, the 20% five percent experience stars, or something. Yeah. If you, if, you, if you have five gold medals, you're already no, no. experience. He's talking about oh, uh, get getting cards, yeah. Five like combinations. Five, five likes. Or if you get legendary yeah. somehow. But then, like... people, but then people would be like fucking just playing games as a group and fucking everybody like, all right, it's this guy's turn to get the fucking experience and everybody would get a fucking epic all the you'd time. You'd always because... have to have a full team and that just means that uh, and you'd have all your points to, are like... go to somebody anyway. It would just balance out. It wouldn't, it wouldn't yeah. hurt. Yeah. I don't think it would be a problem. Now you could I mean, level up a specific that, person faster. Yeah, being that the experience doesn't fucking matter, except for loot boxes, and that's it. That's then there we go. Right. Maybe it should be a way to get loot boxes. Yeah. Or maybe they need to add in something that or gives you... Or maybe that gives you money. Yeah. You can buy things. And maybe make... Doesn't have to be a lot. To buy, Doesn't or... have to be a lot, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, just make it mean every something. Every fucking vote you get a dollar. Yeah. Like a, no, a that's too much. <laughs> no. Like, no, if you coin. get five, you get one. Otherwise, well, no, then you can just build the up your... in-game currency. One yeah. of the in-game currency. Yeah, for five votes. You still votes. need 25 no. votes. No, you still need a thousand common. fucking coins to unlock to legendary. the legendary skin. Yeah. No, no, but that would take that would be taking advantage of much more than experience. All of a sudden, it's like, hey, I want 100 points. It okay, would take we'll just you, do you in every game. weeks and weeks of collaborative yeah. play, so strategic play. Get, yeah. You would yeah. need to get five people, so six people, so that's one epic. You can't get a legendary every time because that's the other team being like, holy fuck, yeah. you deserve this upvote. And then that, you have to be able to guarantee you're on the card. So I think one dollar a coin or one coin a fucking vote would be pretty good. Yeah. Even if you vote for yourself, it's still one dollar. 
And then they can maybe add some more, or maybe change the prices a little bit, make them a little higher if you're constantly getting that flow of money instead of it being random from a loot box. Because right. there's got to be a way to get money in the game other than loot boxes. Yeah. Or paying for it. You should be able to pay for money. You, you pay for loot boxes. Yeah. Still a random pay for chance. Loot boxes and then you get the chance to get the money yeah. and then you buy your skin. You should get money for achievements as well. Yes, like fucking like 250. No, because you get them a lot. Like 25 yeah. gold on achievement. Something. Anyway, uh, they're Overwatch news. Yeah, it's fucking... Overwatch porn being taken down pretty aggressively. It's only being taken down on Pornhub. So yeah, uh, because Pornhub is the only one that can stand liable for that stuff. Yeah. Uh, but things like Tumblr, and it's Reddit. like... Yeah, Still and Reddit and 4chan and all that shit. Can't do anything about it. It's just a way for people to upload content. Yeah. I mean, you can ban the yep. users and ban the subreddit, but it'll just go to other reddits. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's just gonna move. Uh, and I don't think it's worth doing either. It's not. People are gonna fucking fantasize about this because Widowmaker's got a great ass. Everybody fucking knows that. Tracer's yeah. pretty hot. Everybody knows that. Symmetra, fucking May. Every all the chicks are pretty fucking hot. Yeah. Even fucking Z- Zariah. She's scary, but she's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And it's just the people are gonna do that. They do that to every fucking game already. Yeah. Yeah. And by calling attention to it, you're gonna make it worse. Yep. Just publicity for them. Yeah, that's why I was saying it's like as soon as they start doing this, the Overwatch porn like grew ten yeah. times larger. Oh yeah. Because nobody. Yeah, I'm sure. A lot of people like not everybody goes on Reddit. It's a big community, but it's not the fucking biggest. Right. So people right. might not know about the porn. When you go on Reddit and you're like, There's probably Rule Thirty Four. This I can find it. And, oh look, there it is. Yeah. Huh. But if it's on the, the internet, the, there's porn of it. But now there's a news article, and all of a sudden yeah. everyone's like, oh shit, I didn't even think about to look for that shit. Yeah, exactly. But I obviously thought of it, because I'm a horrible person. Moving on, <laughs> uh, to Pokemon. And there's a few Pokemon. Pokemon Quite a few porn. Pokemon. Uh, no, that's been around for a long time. Um, Pokeporn. So, there's, it was this weird, interesting thing that people in... Hong Kong are getting upset because Pikachu's name is being changed. Yes, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, um, and I, I was like, eh, no, I'm not excited. Go fuck yourself. Um, at first I was like, eh, stop bitching. You know, the game well, is the games are finally being released what's in it Chinese. Being, what's it being you know, named to? All, oh, all really? these sort of things. It's uh, it's the, like the translation's bad. It's like a bad translation for Pokemon and for Pikachu and other Pokemon. Right. Like they, it's not coming out right. It might be on this article, but I read it on fucking Kotaku because. So what is the? It's supposed yeah. to be then. No, so, it's supposed to be Pikachu, but it's not translating right to Chinese. Oh, right. it's Chinese. Okay, but like staples of Pokemon, like Pikachu, have been in China for a long yeah. time, so even though. Know. Even though Sun and Moon are the first ones to actually be in Chinese, it's the first ones you'll be able to buy in Mandarin or um, well, standard. The, the, they're like adding all the languages on, so even if you had an English version, you can change it to something else. Like they're well, adding yeah, that but, ability in the game. Yeah, so this is the first Chinese one that a wrong. Chinese language has been included in right. those. It's which always weird. been just Korean. Like, which is weird to think that they haven't done it earlier since China Chinese is like the second or third biggest language in the world. So it's like, how is that not yes, one of your options? Yes, but it has to do with like export laws and yeah, economic yeah. relations between Japan and China. So, Like originally translated like Bai Kachao or something like that. And now yeah. it's named Pikaqui or I don't know. Fuck, no. Mm-hmm. And now, then people are like, now it says the, so, or some shit like that but, in Cantonese, so it doesn't sound right. Yeah, my opinion on it was, if you have a character that's been established for a long time, you shouldn't it change right. it. No. Yeah. Give, like, they're used to it. That's what they want it to be. Don't fucking change it on them. Yeah. I, just, I feel like they should have known that they were going to have a problem with it. Although... If you're like, you, then you gotta say like, I mean, obviously it's not a big deal now, but there was a time when people called Pokemon Pokemon, and or Pokemon, Pokemon, or Pokemon, or whatever, and it's just Pocket Monsters shortened. Well, and, and just, you know, is. like it wasn't a big deal except to people who were actually like fans and were like, no, it's Pokemon or whatever, you know. And, Who's that Pokemon? It fucking says it in the show, Mom. Right. You watch it with me every day. 
but no one cares. But now that all of us have gotten older and have become the parents, it doesn't matter much anymore. But back then, it was the same thing here. Right. They were trying to get people to say it correctly, but they weren't for the longest time. They were saying it, you know, how they heard it on, like, you know, news channels or whatever they heard it from. Right. Yeah, exactly. Or yo gi Yeah. I remember yo gi So, frankly, it's fine if they change it. But it's just gonna take time for the people to grow up with it, and then they'll be fine with it, like we did. Like, like I used to call it Pokemon when I was probably younger, and I first started hearing about it. But I, I changed, and now I say it correctly. How do you so, say that? Like Pokemon, like with the E <sighs> emphasis on the E. Oh, so Pokemon. Right. And Pokemon. Yeah. Well, that, that, again, I used back to say in the Pokemon. Day. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was introduced to it as. Right, and then, and then like, it changed. Mm-hmm. It may have changed, or it just may have like that, like hard E might have just fallen off. As, like, Maybe, but I think it changed simply because blend. you know you, you become a fan, and then you learn what it actually is. Because well, I only the second ever... you watch the first show, it's who's that right. Pokemon? Not who's exactly. that Pokemon? Right. But yeah, so I mean, I think it's okay if they change it. Just don't outwardly change it. Like do it a little bit at a time. Like change it in the game, but maybe not change it on all the fucking promotion shit you do. So right. people get used to playing the game with it the right way or whatever, and I don't know. It, yeah, that's whatever. I right, know we're playing some Total War Warhammer. Total <laughs> Warhammer. Um, next in the Pokemon news news is that we moved on to June, which means the Darkrai month is over and the Manaphy month has begun. Um, I don't know what that is. But this it is like it's Manaphy. that little blue thing. Yeah, yeah Manaphy. So like mana, like magical energy, or mana, like mana tea? No, it's just Manaphy. It's Japanese. Dealer's choice. <laughs> um, but this one is much easier to get. You don't need to go to GameStop or EB Games in Canada or Game in... EB Games is still a thing? Only in Canada. Um, <laughs> uh, so all you have to do is log in to uh, your mystery gift on your internet and you get it. Yay. Uh, if you're like me, just... You can get one per game. It's not per device, it's per game. So if you have, like I have uh, X and um, Alpha Sapphire, I get two of them. And I just use a Pokemon bank to transfer them. So go get your Mana Fees. And if you want the plushies and toys and shit, they're out now too. Yay. And the Mana Fee uh, trading card game uh, pack is out. So exciting. So uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon are getting a special edition. Of course they are. 350 page strategy guide as well. No launch. Um, what do you mean? It's all one guys. sentence. Yeah, special edition, 350 page. So they're getting a special edition strategy guide. Yeah, not a game. Yes. Okay. Okay. Because I, I, I originally I read it like Pokemon Sun and Moon are getting special. Why edition. are they calling it a special edition? They've made strategy guides before in the past and still do. Well, maybe it's like a fucking holographic strategy guide, Steve. Or pop out. You pull a tab. Oh and my pops god! Out. There's like, a Pokemon oh, shit. strategy guide pop out. It'd be like <laughs> fucking twenty five pounds. But they do those things amazing. all the time, so it's like it, it better be fucking special. They don't. Uh, other companies do. Uh, well, it's being made by. It's going to be part of the collector's edition. Oh. Uh, you can buy it separately. So then, who who makes all the strategy guys? I forget. I used to buy them all the time for every uh, game. Oh fuck! Prima. Yeah, Prima strategy guides. Yep. Yeah, fucking I Prima that for guides. Every game except Skyrim was the first game I didn't buy it for. See, I, have I bought, not bought, I bought a Prima. one for Skyrim, but Skyrim made sense to me. Like, I wasn't gonna look through it and figure out where I needed to go because that's not how Skyrim works. <sighs> no, you no, get, I... you get quests as you go. I only wanted to have it if I couldn't figure out something and I didn't want to go look it up on Google. No, I would just read all of it. Well, I would skip the quest because that's a lot of bullshit I didn't read. Yeah. But I read like backgrounds and monsters. I read right. up on all of that shit. Well, that makes like, more sense. Wow and it makes more sense for Pokemon games because you could see, oh, there's a Pokemon here I never actually saw yet. I should wait to try thing... to capture it. Oh, I didn't look at that. My favorite thing was in the back of the book was every fucking Pokemon that evolves and everything. So I right, it was kind of a it. Pokedex too at the same yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Well, this I bet one... it gave you help with the fucking dungeon or with the things you couldn't figure out. Yeah, this one's by Brady Games, but the Guild Wars Two guide was the last one I bought. There's a guide for Guild Wars Two. Yep, got it with the game at GameStop the day it came out. Some special thing. Does it have anything good in it? Yeah, it every it has everything from the base game in it. Yeah, basically. It tells you where to exact, where to get all the materials that you need to craft. It tells you 
It has maps to show like where all the vistas and shit are. Fucking and... seven dollars on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to buy that shit. Well, it's probably a little <laughs> antiquated at this point since yeah, they added stuff and all the updates stuff and, and shit. You might be looking at something in the book and be like, oh, it's so fucking cool, and you get there and it's gone, and you can't get any more. Yeah. Uh, the next one's a video, Steve. I don't know if we actually want to do this one on stream no. because it's a Nintendo uh, one. I don't really care. It's 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 whatever it's called. It's not uh, worth it. Okay. It's um. Not worth it. What's it called? Fair use. Fair use. Yeah, because we're going to be actively talking about it. So. I'm not going to say shit just to piss you off. <laughs> Anyway, let's switch to browser, and then uh, when you guys are ready, I'm at zero seconds. Oh, yeah, me too. Fuck is it? Oh, fuck me. Fuck one go bit of foot. Pretty much all the way back at the beginning. That's where I'm at. Yeah, I'm at zero. Uh, I'm at two. Well, pull it back. It's okay, YouTube. Okay, fuck you guys. <laughs> I was about to play it to two seconds. It's YouTube. You can pull it back. Steve's too lazy for that shit. That's true. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, right. Go Three, ahead, Steve. Two, friend, go. Only on a 3DS and a, whatever the hell that was. Oh, it's lab. The cheese wedge. Yeah, cheese wedge. So, Galio. Oh, so these are the... They need some fucking V-Sync over in that shit. <laughs> <laughs> these are the legendaries, the box art legendaries. Um, their signature moves and types, so this guy is Steel Psychic, not Sun Steel, or Sun Psychic, like everyone thought. Uh, Lunala is oh, Psychic like Ghost. Oh, I'll uh, get Moon. I know, I want it's Moon. We're all That's getting Moon. Awesome. We're all getting Moon. Uh, I might get Sun. I don't know yet. But... I like the Sun one until I saw this awesome Demon Bat. Yeah. Moon Geist so, Beam? Yeah. <laughs> So it's an awesome move. There's your region oh. based on Hawaii. Confirmed. Yeah. It looks fucking beautiful. Um, you have a lot more customization. I can be black. Yep. <laughs> uh, the kukui. Oh, a <laughs> kukui is a tree in Hawaii, so they're keeping with the thing. Oh, nice. This little girl has a lot of speculation because she looks fucking creepy. Uh, that's probably going to be your quote unquote rival. And this is the they biggest thing is that. Your Rotom, or your Pokedex, is inhabited by a Rotom. So you'll be yeah. able to talk to your Pokedex. That's very interesting. I'm inter interested yeah. to see how that works. Yes. And a release date. Nice! I'm getting yep. there. Yep. Do -do -do. Yay! So. Pokemon. Wolfric! I don't fucking care. Man. I'm switching back to You're Brian's a little view. bitch. Yep. Alright. Back on your... Uh, so, so, yeah. Pokemon Sun and Moon. A little more information. <sighs> Looks, looks good. Looks like it's going to be fun to play. Uh, yeah. We don't know how many Pokemon they're introducing. No. Nope. We don't know how many thousand. Megas they're introducing. We don't nope. know. Thousand. You know, much of anything. Nope. Eight thousand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Over nine thousand. Um, I was getting there. Yep. I had to do it before you did. Uh, so yeah, it looks it looks fun. I'm excited for it. And it's in November, so I'll probably be able to afford it. Once Yay. football season starts. So, moving on to Pokemon oh. Go. Pokemon Go. Yeah. Oh, um, I forgot this was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there How is no... How I am with it. There's still no release date. They didn't release they still it, say it's still nice out. Summer 2016. They're still saying that. Of course, <laughs> that can mean like released in like August December. 30th. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but now that the beta has started in North America... Um, we, we have a lot more information and there is like a nine minute video out there that we're not going to play because it's not supposed to be out there. Um, but it That's exists okay. if you want to go find it. Uh, we're you not advocating it, but it's there. Your... Damn. It's probably pretty boring <laughs> without commentary, so I wouldn't even bother. Yeah. It, yeah. It's kind of boring, but, uh, it, it shows you a lot. It shows you what the app actually looks like. It does look a lot like Ingress. When you're on the map. I'm not gonna fucking play it. It looks a it's lot. It's supposed to. They are like, the ones who made it. Yeah. Like fucking the don't UI. Care. Ingress the, was garbage, and the I game, don't want their fucking the, UI to be translated to Pokemon. It was shit. Well, it's too late. It's already happened. Well, I'm not gonna fucking play it then. 
you're gonna fucking play it and you're gonna fucking love it yeah i know right <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna end up liking it more than i actually feel like i am yeah exactly um but in the nine minutes of him walking around and shit he found eight pokemon okay that's because they fucking put him there yeah it, it, it could be fucking video <laughs> progress uh so it looked interesting no battling they didn't show any battling unfortunately but the, the catching is really oh, simple. very skeptical you throw the pokeball at the pokemon pretty much it you're like you ash trying to catch that pidgey pokemon? nope you're like ash oh. fighting that or trying to capture that pidgey in the in the, in the first episode right yeah so i'm gonna get my ass beat by some fucking spears <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Pokemon Go news, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Rock of Ages. We this is so a, dead excited about that. This is another video. Steve. Oh, sorry. Was, I'm mimicking Josh as best as I can. Oh, anyway, uh, let me switch back here. Where are the cameras? I want to see what you're doing. All right, here we go. Let's see. Is, is there? Nope. There's no thing. So I'm at one second. Yeah, me too. Interesting. I'm not anything yet. Hold on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Only two seconds. Fuck you, guys. I'm just gonna one. Mm-hmm. All right, Steve. All right, three, two, one, go. Do it. <laughs> Looks like fucking goddess. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? By Peter Mayhew, but that game turned out to be shit. Oh, I don't know. I never played it. I played it I on mobile. I... It's full of multi-transactions. Hey, this reminds me of Game of Thrones. Oh, I have more. This game, Rock of Ages 1, was so fucking stupid. I loved it. So it's like a top-down tower defense game uh, that is also like Gyro Ball. Like Monkey Ball, then. Yeah. It's a tower defense monkey ball game. <laughs> and it takes itself so seriously. But it's so fun. It kind of looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's also like... <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of the one game that uh, the Ox guys played for a little bit where you destroy the... Stuff in front Besieged? of you, build a little contraption to do it. Yeah, oh, yes. Besiege. Completely different. But yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, so yeah. It's just no, 40% fucking... less destroyed <laughs> way accurate. Yeah. <laughs> it's also... It also feels like very um, Monty Python-y. It does. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Monet's. Oh, I, I I would play just for the fucking art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rock of it Ages looks amazing. Bigger, uh, games that make you smile are some of the most important games. It they just come out of nowhere. Look at that. I like how it says Steam, not my, my PC. It's just a Steam. Steam. Like, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Steam well, doesn't... Pretty... You notice it does not say that. Android or iOS. Uh, but this there game would... Steam controller for it. Yeah, to play it probably. Right. That's that's why. Uh, that's Steam in here. Explicitly. The Steam controllers have the. All right, we're back on your view, Brian. All right. And that's the end of my Fucking side. Rocket League, no one cares about me. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be in here. It is. Maybe. It's after Rocket League. Yeah, but it's not on my tabs, and it's oh, clicked on the wrong one. Well, you get to do it next time, Josh. Uh, and you're not gonna have any information on it, so I'm gonna sit there and point out all of your mistakes. that already no i don't i don't know trust me i don't because i'd kill myself if you didn't i'm just kidding what the hell Uh uh-huh Brian doesn't know how to compute apparently i don't did you make your browser background that leaf or is that yes firefox just in general Brian, how do I get Twitch to work on Firefox? I'm sure I can figure it Go out. I just it. haven't cared. Load it up. It just spins. 
Oh, this, this your problem works fucking fine for me. That's why I use Chrome. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. At least I don't use fucking Internet Explorer. I don't think you can anymore. There we go. <laughs> nope. Windows 10 computers at work still have it, and it's fucking stupid. I yeah. got it. It's there. It's mostly to explore, but you can't use okay. it as an actual browser. Yeah, it's Rocket of Ages is done. Uh, Rocket League uh, is Rocket getting League a uh, minor uh, Ivan. You d- you never fucking played it, and you wouldn't, and you would like it. I probably make you would. as it would make you as angry as Overwatch. I don't need to be. I don't need any more games. Right now. <laughs> uh, but it's fun. I love it. I feel like it would and be like I, my Lego soccer, and be... I would never stop playing it. That's yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> More ridiculous. They've added a basketball mode now. There's hockey and fun. I just don't um, like sports. <laughs> um, but now you can customize your character a lot more, uh, which means so much when you can't even see the other person's car. Um, it me it matters. To so you. yeah, yep. I only cause anyway. I don't customize my character so people think I look cool, or I'm customizing it because I think it looks cool. I've never once given a shit what other people thought about what my character looked like. Yeah. Uh, moving on to Valve has sold <sighs> I half a million Steam controllers. I kind of want one too. Yeah. Uh, I played with them a little bit at PAX last one. year. Uh, for Elite it's Dangerous, weird. people said it's the fucking best thing. It's better than a fucking stick and throttle. It's better than mouse and keyboard. Yeah. Because it's got uh, the gyroscopes in it, but it's just... People that's have a whole been, other peripheral i got to learn to use. People have been using it to play Civ uh, really well because of the... The little trackpad thing? Yeah. Makes sense. Like it's touchpad. Yeah. yeah. God damn it, Research Center. I'm not doing your money. Um, <laughs> so, Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> research center wants your money. Yeah, they do. They really do. Um, I don't understand why you guys have a fucking landline, but okay. Uh, well, some people do. Comes in a package or something. I'll tell you what. When the earthquake happens, or the volcano erupts, oh, that's true. and the cell towers go down, I'm going to fucking call you up on purpose. And your and power goes out and you can't use your phone? Unless it's got you a don't need a power line. to use a phone because it's a landline. Well, if some of them you do, well, but you have yeah. to have one hardwired phone. Always. Yes, you do. That's just the you, definition of a landline. No, no, because you have all the fucking ones that have the receivers and the base, and then you got like sixteen oh, fucking yeah, but, phones. Yeah. But the then one you have the one that's the one. wired to the fucking wall and yeah. still has the wire, and that's what you use to call for. Or if you got Comcast. Yeah. Well, if you have Comcast, you're not gonna be able to fucking get a call out anyway. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Comcast's box, the phone line goes to the box. Because they have cable lines, so... I was just saying because Comcast is shit. Right. Anyway. Uh, so, Steam controllers. Uh, I'm still thinking about getting one. I don't know. It's peripheral I that I don't need. One day. You know, it's a nice thing, but... Maybe at a Steam sale. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, some relatively big news is that Vivendi... Has uh, taken over Game <laughs> Loft, uh, uh, and is no, it's it's not Ubisoft, but it's step stoning its way to taking over Ubisoft. What which is Vivendi? big. Uh, Vivendi is a big do? like multimedia thing. It's like oh. they own TV channels and they own internet shit and they own oh, it's not gonna you, know, anything. you know a bunch of other things. But well, maybe people are people's jobs. <laughs> Yeah, people people are worried because uh, it's controlled. Uh, like this company has been known to just up and fire everyone, um, and then hire new people to replace them, which could really ruin a lot of uh, games. Or it could make a lot of games with new fucking looks at them. Yeah, it could, it could go either way. Uh, yeah, it could definitely go either. Probably the worst way, but it could go good. Yeah. And a lot of people are especially worried about Assassin's Creed because a lot of console gamers really love Assassin's Creed. Isn't that right. A fucking beat into a pulp yet? Nope. Well, or especially be, with all storylines. Or is stuff? it going to come to fucking Assassin's Creed in fucking you have, 3, 30 30 and no, you're fucking no. flying around in jet? You have not, the entirety of human history to play with. Yeah. yeah but... It's not even the issue that it'd be something stupid like that. It's the storyline. If they fire everybody, they have no one who's an expert on the fucking storyline, which means they make they'll a game and it doesn't make any fucking they'll sense. They'll keep the writer. And fire all the fucking developers. 
Because you got to keep Probably. somebody who knows it. So when you're making yeah, a game, keep, you're like, put this in here, like, put that in hey, there. Hey, who knows the most about this game? And we're like, oh, that, that'd be that guy. He's like, oh, you all are fire except him. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, much. oh, wait, I know about the game. Not too late, man. <laughs> That's not going to happen. It's going to be a hostile pickover. They're going to cut throats. Yeah. Ruin yeah. lives. Um, the next one is this game called YouTuber's Life, and I've been watching some people play it. Uh, it's I fucking saw, hilarious. Um, I saw a really shittier version of this that Markiplier played. Um, it was just an indie game. Oh, was it and eSport Tycoon or was it Game Tycoon? It, like, I know, this... it was just like some, like, fla- it looked like a Flash game. And it was just like, I was, oh. it was the one time you linked a Markiplier video and I was like, I wonder if this guy's actually good. And I watched some of his videos and I was like, okay. And then, <laughs> that was it. And I had to find a different video for you to watch because it was shit. Oh, he's... Uh. He's weird. He's he he's PewDiePie. Me. He's PewDiePie. He's I, I uh, like them both, even though I hate them. But I like yeah, I like other. PewDiePie as a person, but I hate him as yeah. a creator. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's what this game is about. It like stereotypes everything about being a YouTuber. You can do boobs out, like girl reacts videos, or you can do like vlogs, or you can do first impressions, or you can do gameplay. You know, just ridiculous shit. It's so funny. Uh, it also t- takes a really long time, apparently. So that game is amazing. Yeah, like it, it takes like mo- better. Po- once you start out, it's like in the dark ages of the internet, so it takes better part of two days to upload a video. <laughs> and you have to wait those two days to do that. No, you can go to school or eat or sleep or whatever. Can't make oh, any more videos. Game? Yeah, it's also a bit like The Sims. So, yeah. That might be cool. And we come to our last thing. And we're talking about E3. E3. So, next week, not Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, like I had originally thought, it's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for us because the developer shows start on Sunday and run through Wednesday. And then, like, the E3 show itself is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Are we going to do that instead of our game stream? Uh, Well, we don't have it on Tuesday anyway. And we'll but probably Wednesday, skip yeah. a random game on Wednesday to yeah. do it. So uh, we'll have three chat videos. I mean, we could still stream a game because it's going to be maybe a half hour to an hour at most. Right. So it's going to be relatively short stream. Yeah. We, we could still potentially stream Wednesday, but we don't have to. Well, no, Wednesday we still need to stream the cover. Well, yeah, yeah. Because there's stuff happening. Day. Yeah. Not a long game session. Yeah. Uh, but Sunday's YouTube... Uh, I don't know what's happening. I know Rooster Teeth is in it. Uh, there are rumors that a company has gotten involved and it's going to um, do something as well. EA is also going on What, Monday. take over Rooster Teeth? No, like Rooster Teeth is going to help premiere a game or something like that. Ah, maybe it'll uh, be based off of their uh, anime. That's the, what are maybe. they going to bring out? Uh, well, we know they're talking about Dishonored 2, Fallout and we're 4, hoping Expansions that they're talking Doom, about and Elder May- Scrolls. They're uh, talking about the Elder Scrolls. It won't be, but we don't know about what. It might be <laughs> for the rest of my life. right. It might be very early stuff, but they well, they've already said they're not doing anything yeah. for Skyrim anymore. Right. Um, well, and we also Skyrim know they just finished uh, the last and like the last thing of their engine, which was Fallout or whatever. So now it's time for a new engine and a new Elder Scrolls. I just want to know the war, like the area it's going to be in so I can fucking consume every bit of knowledge about it. <laughs> yeah. And fucking just uh, leave the game until It's a it whole new area and... that we don't know about. It's like, shit. Dude, and it's co-op. Do that. And it's, it's co-op. co-op. I hope it's co-op. Up to four-player co-op? Yeah, I, I hope it has that option. <laughs> I would weep I really like a do. baby. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Um, Bethesda's also <laughs> yeah. happening. It's like, take my money. Uh, that. Uh, Bethesda's happening at seven, which still gives us an <laughs> hour to watch Game of Thrones at six. And then they and then they'd be like, oh, now we got to... Uh... Oh, fuck, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, we and... should probably actually try to watch this if we can. Yeah, we did that last year. We just weren't streaming it. Kind of, like we, we tried, try but one. yeah. Well, we don't have to stream it during the live presentation. We can live tweet it. No, no. Yeah, we yeah we can. I was thinking about live tweeting it. Yeah. Um, but we should and... definitely watch it live because then we can have those reactions that you have when you're watching it live. Or at least watch the footage of it going off live. Like, if you right. can't catch it, watch I it mean, later. We pretty much did this last year. Yeah. Uh, but 
you were getting ready to leave, Steve. Yes. Josh was nowhere to be found. Yes. So this time we can go balls to the wall on it. Right. So it'll be fun. I was everywhere to be found, just not with you guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, if, if you're not in my life, you're nowhere. So. Oh, <laughs> I, I want Bethesda. That's how millennials please. think, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, some Twitch please. stuff. Uh, I don't Monday. Even care. I just want the fucking Bethesda announcement and that I could give a shit less. <laughs> uh, you get to pick your poison on Monday between Twitch and YouTube who you, you want to watch. Uh, but Twitch. Microsoft doing their thing. PC Gaming is doing YouTube. their thing. Ubisoft. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sony. Which will probably uh, you think be the PlayStation 4's upgrade. Maybe they'll talk about probably. that there a little bit. The 4.5 or whatever. Why do they need an upgrade? Because their current Are PlayStation they just make 4... It thinner? No, the current PlayStation 4 can like barely handle VR. Yeah. They can barely handle their VR headset. They're making a PlayStation 4 that can handle VR. So it's going to be beefed performance. Or beefy, yeah. beefier performance. And rumor has it, it might be 2K. Yes. Yeah, at fucking 15 FPS. That's yeah, probably. Probably. Well, if, probably. It, can, it, it, if it can handle 60s. VR, it could probably do 2K just fine. If it's built to handle VR, it'll probably be fine. When yeah. they say built to VR, like they're not just making a new case; they're putting in new graphics cards, new processing units inside of it, so in that way it can actually be. Yeah. But remember, stronger. console VR is shit. It's probably going to be shit compared to PC VR. Right, right now, yeah. until they make the upgraded PlayStation Four. Forever, console will never live up to PC, Steve. Well, that's how it always is for anything, but it will yeah. be equal to what it is now. Like if you look at a console game versus a PC game, it's you. There's like a certain balance you can see. Like you see it like that. But right now, with the console and PC for VR, it's more like, you know, that. But they're going to bring it back to... I don't know what you're doing with your hands, but okay. Um, <laughs> I'll use fingers. All right. <laughs> oh, um, I, let me make I, a graph really quick. Oh, God. <laughs> Moving I, on. I'm not looking at your webcam. Moving on. Tuesday is Nintendo Day. Uh, they're talking Legend of Zelda a lot, and also doing some Pokemon stuff. Yeah, so some Star Fox stuff. Is that, is that what's happening? No, no, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Anything okay. that's happening on Sunday, we'll take notes and talk about and Monday. And talk about Monday, yeah. Because you mentioned Game of Thrones. So I was just... uh, Game of Thrones is at 6 Eastern. Man. Uh, uh, what? 6 my time. I apologize. 6 my time. Um, <laughs> Did they change yeah. something? <laughs> <laughs> um, whereas Bethesda, their thing starts at 7 Pacific. So... <sighs> Uh, we will have an hour to watch Game of Thrones before Twit, before uh, Bethesda. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday, there's also some more Nintendo shit happening Wednesday. <gasps> okay. uh, it doesn't yep. include all and the in between stuff, all the little right, things, all, all, all the little things. Yeah. Um, that are probably and then... be more interesting than any of this shit. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. That will, that will have to follow um, a lot of uh, people who are there in order to get that information, or a lot of news sites to get more of that information. Yeah, and then uh, Thursday is a bunch of just show and tell, uh, pretty much. Yeah. So we might look at it, but we probably won't talk about it until the following Monday. Right. Uh, Yay, three. So, yeah. Because t- notice in there, there's no where Phoenix stuff. It's in LA. Actually, that brings, a, where? that brings up a good question. LA. God damn the, it. The chat after next week, should that be like a summary of the, like, the biggest stuff that came out during E3? We, yeah, we could. And then Since we're doing each day involved. separately during the week. But then the, by that point, it could be about Game of Thrones season finale. Because that should be there, wouldn't it? Episode 8 is this weekend. 9 would be next weekend, and then 10 would be the weekend after. Not close so enough. It, we would be a, you're a week off on your estimates. Fuck. I think. Fuck. Close, though. We're talking about episode 9. Yeah. Which is the episode everything happens in. Yeah. So... And then 10 is just like, all right, well, we're tying it up, and everybody's yeah. fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. It's that's like, oh, wait, Cliffhanger, there you go. That's that's episode mm-hmm. 10 for everyone. Um, yeah, everybody's dead, here's a Cliffhanger, come back next time. Yep. Yeah. And then we're fucking having Or everyone's alive. Year. All of a sudden. Uh, yeah, and then alive. I start reading the books all over again, because I want, because <laughs> I need it to sustain me. <laughs> I need uh. it in my life. What are we going <laughs> to do when it's over? Move on to your Switch show. to sci-fi. Start watching Star Trek again? I don't know. Yeah, new Star Trek will be out. We'll be able to start watching the new Star Trek. Yeah, Star Trek. Tweeting at me. Like, brand new Star Trek episodes. Like, as they come out on the day. I haven't done that ever. I've only ever watched Star Trek after the fact. You're going to fucking hate it. 
Because you're not going to be able to binge watch it, because that's what Where we're Where were so you when Enterprise doing. came out? Were you in the military? Yeah, but I don't think one, I really, I don't two, think I three, watched it, four. though. Like, Enterprise, uh, it was fine, but it wasn't like the others. Yeah, well, it didn't, it didn't make comments big. I remember watching Enterprise as a debut. Yeah. Distinctly, on UPN. And then UPN got bought no, out. No, yeah, I was then either still in college, kitchen. or I was in the military, I don't remember which. What year did it come out? 2001. Eight. Oh, 2001? Yep. No, I graduated high school in 2004. Yep. Definitely so not in the military. You were in high school. Yeah, high school, <laughs> beginning of college. Yeah. What were you doing in high school that you weren't watching Star Trek? I was watching the older Star Treks. <laughs> I probably didn't even realize Enterprise was out until after I had already watched all the others. Yeah, the internet wasn't so big back yeah, then. Yeah, exactly. I was, was watching, a... I was watching the others on TV as they came out every day. I wasn't able to like watch everything that was in order. It was on like WGN. Yeah, and they showed could... it like every 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 yeah. week or every day or whatever. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. But yeah, Indiana is big in the Midwest. I would watch the I would watch the Star Treks, and then eventually, when I got Netflix, I was able to binge watch all of Star Trek again yeah. and actually see it all. So we'll keep up on this schedule regularly, and then we'll talk about it next Monday. And follow Tuesday our and Twitter Wednesday. for live tweets of things that happen. Yes. Yes, live tweeties. Yes. Of Try to anyway. I've never done it. It's just a V three like. It just seems like repeating what they said to me, but whatever. Live tweeting isn't difficult. It is pretty much just take yeah. in, put well, out. People that take can't in, watch the stream out. can keep up with the fucking things that are happening. Like yeah. me, because I'll be at work for most of this shit, so I'll be like able to check the tweets that you guys put right, out. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I'll be able to follow the tweets you guys put out. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> yeah. when I say I'll, ju- I'll just tweet at you and everything so your phone buzzes every yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, Why right. are you going to tweet at me? You can just tweet with a fucking Avalon Bending account and I'll see it when I refresh the Avalon Bending account. <laughs> yeah, but I want to buzz your phone annoyingly. Yeah. Well, anybody who fucking retweets it or likes it will fucking... We'll call you, we'll oh, trust sure. you, we'll tweet yeah. you, we'll Facebook Brian, I you. I have like five interactions a day now on Twitter. <laughs> so Ooh, my phone's always buzzing. Five. Wow. I don't know what that means, but it's more than I've ever gotten. So. <laughs> Are people so, tweeting at you yet? No. No, yeah. we'll get there. <laughs> We're not there yet, Brian. We only got 150 followers. Actually, it's, it's, it's gone up since the video. We're at 153. Yeah, yeah. I have like twice as many followers, but I have a lot I more just... like user. Well, uh, yeah, well, you've gained yours from actually doing stuff. We're gaining exactly. yours by trying to get ourselves my followers are real people that want to talk to me but hopefully doing it this way will get us followers faster once we hit a certain point i mean i've stopped doing it at like when we hit 100 followers i stopped and we've gotten 53 extra yeah well now Mm -hmm. it's just now it's just a matter of tweeting those are people that are actually following like finding us and following us not just like oh you you like game right right (laughs) so you You like game anyway follow let's wrap yeah we're not talking about anything anymore so yeah Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.